when Jazz Eerie was started from the early days, you were always very supportive. At what point did you really get involved with Jazz Eerie? Well, when you had that first meeting to uh, get things organized, uh, my intention at that time was to uh, get involved and help bring um, great jazz performers to uh, Erie. But I think uh, obligations at the college at that time precluded any serious involvement. So it wasn't until Charles Ventrello asked me to rejoin Jazz Erie as a member of the performing uh, the performance committee that I really got involved. And so there was a gap there in my membership with Jazz Erie. And the involvement really is uh, mainly over the past eight years, nine years, getting involved with the performance uh, committee to, to bring performers to town. So for example, next week, uh, Sasha Vasandani coming to town. So I had contacted uh, agent, uh, his agent, and uh, we got that arranged. And uh, before that, it was Tia Fuller helping to uh, bring Tia Fuller and her quartet for the Christmas concert, which we've now had since Joe Lovano uh, performed here. So. Jensiri, despite lack of financial resources or some uh, financial mentor, has survived for many, many years. And it always amazes me that it uh, retains a life, that there are so many people involved on the board who, you know, uh, continue to, to, to uh, give their time, their, you know, their energy and resources. Yet Jazz Erie is not that large of an organization. Do you think that there's a message for people who are into music, whether it's jazz or not, um, regarding not a sales pitch, but what value it could bring to them or does bring to them and to the community? Why someone would really want to join Jazz Erie? I think uh, people who are seriously into, into jazz feel that commitment uh, at a deep level and want to get involved. And in a community such as Erie, when you don't have the opportunities that you would have in uh, Chicago or, or New York, uh, you really have to invest your uh, time, energy, other resources to bring the music to town. Because it's not going to come to town absent that kind of commitment. So I think people who are seriously into jazz, and it turns out that Erie really is a jazz town. I mean, that was one of the things that most impressed me was that there are people here who are very interested in uh, in the music. As performers, we have a lot of lot of talented people as performers in Erie who are jazz performers. And a lot of people who are uh, just committed to um, bringing whatever talents they might have to making jazz happen here. You know, certainly John Banco has been absolutely critical in bringing jazz to uh, Erie forever. It's just amazing to me that, you know, back in the days of uh, Clay Space and the Erie Art Museum Annex, uh, the uh, Blues and Jazz Festival every summer, all of that, he's brought so many great performers uh, to town. And I think that has helped to uh, kind of keep the, the, the spirit of the music alive, uh, provided a great m venue for many of the musicians in town to perform. So, I think all of that together really has um, kept the momentum going and then swirling around that people such as yourself and others who have been committed to keeping the music on the radio or uh, making sure that it's, it's uh, performed at local venues. It's been fantastic. So Jazz Erie um, is, is the Erie Jazz Society and there, it's, that's not, it's not a large group but it doesn't have to be a large group. It just has to be a group of committed individuals 
bring whatever resources they have. There might be organizational talents or business. We have attorneys. Uh, there have been physicians on the board. I mean, basically, it's a group of people who are just really interested in the music. I'd like to see more corporate in, in, uh, support. I think that there might be more that we could do to um, engineer uh, corporate support along the lines that the uh, that's the Erie Philharmonic has done in getting uh, you know kind of sustained support, which would uh, relieve some of the pressure on our fundraising efforts with the uh, Jazz Walk every July, things like that. <laughs>